It's time for us to get into the Encyclopedia Horrifica. This is just like a really fun, like gross, scary, spooky, fun fact book, uh, paranormal stuff. It's from Scholastic. I'm assuming it was purchased at a book fair, but I got it for $1.79 at the Savers and they probably paid, oh, $8.99? Wow. That's very reasonable for children's books. Sometimes I look on the back of a children's book, it's like four pages long and it's bound by cardboard and they're like $29. Why? That's crazy. Okay, this spread here, I love this book mostly because of all the cool pictures. It's full color, it's so cool. But this one is all about sea creatures. Captains and crewmen have long swapped stories of underwater teeth machines with fins, stories of swiftly moving behemoths that appear, destroy ships, and disappear. Stories of creatures big enough to wrap their tentacles around a school bus, yet clever enough to hide from the humans for centuries. So, sea monsters. There's like the, the Kraken, uh, you've seen him definitely in the Pirates of the Caribbean, just giant squid, but then it turns out they dive to the bottom and they did find a giant squid in 20, let's see, 2004. So in 2004, we all thought the giant squid was extinct and we all assumed that whatever people were seeing uh, when they saw the Kraken was just a giant squid. Well, in 2004, a marine biologist caught their first glimpse of a living giant squid, which is pretty nuts. Uh, scientists believe their slimy find once inspired Norway's myth of the ferocious kraken. In 2006, the world was uh, equally stunned when the researchers off the coast of Papa, Indonesia, announced that they had identified a new species of shark that walks on its fins. You gotta go Google pictures of that thing, it's so cute. But here's what I thought was the most interesting. So this here is called, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to see from there, but that is something being hoisted up out of the uh, out of the ocean. It's just got lots of teeth and it's just a blob. It's called they call it a globster. So here's the thing. The sperm whale is the largest toothed animal ever to inhabit Earth. In the past, decayed whale corpses have been mistaken for enormous sea serpents. Uh, each of these so-called globsters is usually revealed to be a whale's fatty tissue. So literally, you'd see this big chunk of flesh and teeth, and it was just like a chunk of a sperm whale. It wasn't a full sperm whale. So it's just, all you see is like teeth and fatty chunks, and you see it sort of just slithering through the ocean. You assume that's a giant snake. That's a giant snake. Nope, just part of a whale carcass. <laughs> Which honestly, I don't know what's worse. I don't know if I would be more interested in dealing with a giant dead whale or a giant live sea serpent. Oh, I want to tickle the sea serpent's belly. Just t give him a little chin scratches, tickle his belly. So cute. They have the longest bellies. You got to tickle forever. <laughs> and that is the Encyclopedia Horrifica.